Indian Patent Agent exam is easy if you get right guidance and start preparing at the right time. Recommended material is that you read Indian Patent Act and laws, but they have a little tough to read. They have a legal language which you as a science student in initial level might find a little difficult to understand. I face this problem. So, what I have found a solution for this, I have designed simplified seven books for preparing Indian Patent Agent examination. Let me show you these books, what they are all about. So, if you order these books, you will get a packet delivered to you in which you will get book, paper one book. So, this book is designed to qualify the paper one. It contains in a very simple and easy language interpretation of Indian Patent Act 1970. It will give you lot of flow charts, lot of diagrams making you understand what and how the patent is being filed, what are the procedures which are being followed in Indian patent law. So as you can see from the index, so you will have chapter on Indian patent law, what are non-patentable inventions in India, applying for a patent in India. So like I have divided into simple, simple chapters. total 15 chapters and in the annexure you will find the patent forms, how e-filing is being done, right? So the advantage is it is written in simpler language in flowcharts and diagrams so that you can make exactly flowcharts and diagrams in your paper. After this, you have a special book on patent drafting because in paper 2 you will get an invention in which you have to write down claims. So in this book, I have given lot of case studies, lot of examples. As you can see from the index, I will tell you what is the structure of claims, how to write a preamble, how to write independent claims. So total you can see there are 8 chapters with case studies, right? Once you read paper 1 and patent drafting, next you can look for some case studies which will give you how like there is a famous case, Novartis case, right? Or how the first compulsory license was granted in India. There is a case of Natco Pharma versus Bayer Pharmaceuticals. So all this book, we have written some examples in which you will be able to tell with the examples you can write in the paper in which so that it becomes clear that you understand the concept with the live examples. So, as a biotechnology student, you will get lot of examples from biotechnology industry of lot of companies, right? How, how these companies are fighting the patent uh, infringement suits, what are the solutions you can offer. So, in this book, all these answers are written in detail with a, with, with a special section which I have designed, which is called a mind cracker. Mind crackers gives you an idea if there is a question in the paper, what to focus on and how to form your answer. So this is really helpful, right? After that, you can switch to the most uh, book, the, it's my one of the, it's my favorite book, the previous year solved papers. But this is how you get the idea how to pass the examination, what type of questions will be asked. So I have, <laughs> I spent long hours to write all these answers just for you so that you know what is the right answer, how to write the paper. So since I have given answers from 2007, there are questions, there are answers and last examination was conducted in 2016. So this is the latest and updated version of the book, right? So last paper was in 2016 in which I have given answers to paper 1 and paper 2, right? So there will be a question paper also attached in this and there will be answers written to it right so that you get a fair idea how to write the answers right so there is a question right and there is an answer right so you get to know this is a if this is a question how should i answer what should i write right next you have a third paper by voice so I, I have taught a lot of students in the last 10 years. So we have collected the questions like what type of questions they are asking in the Viva Voice, right? So I have collected this using the information from my students in the last 10 years, right? So what, whatever the questions be, were being asked from them, like can you get a patent on a DNA, right? Or 
uh, what is the difference between invention or new invention? So all these small questions, I have jolted down in this book. So you get, when you sit in a Viva voice, you know what type of questions to expect. After that, like there's the last day for examination, you cannot read all these books. I understand. So for the last day preparation, I've given you a books of quick notes, right? So quick notes are like, like small, small notes in form of PPT, which I've printed in this book so that you can just quickly revise Okay, this is this section. Okay, if you are reading a PCT, the PCT filing, patent corporation treaty is all about what is a form. So, quick reading, right? This is this is a small flow chart. So, you get to know, okay, this, 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 and this is how a PCT application is filed. And for the reference, I have given you a printed material of the Bayer Act, Indian Patent Act 1970. So, when you get all these books set, you will understand. If you will start reading this book, First, you will find it very difficult because it is written in a very legal language, right? So total, you will find there are sections, rules and there's a, for example, you will start from here, section number one, section number two, the so total approximately like you'll get 115 sections, right? More than that. I think now we have increased and we have 162 sections to read, right? So, but these are written in a legal language. Firstly, there is an act, then there, is a, there are the rules and finally, you will get a patent office manual which is being released by patent office on how do they function, right. This is the most recommended material you will find, if you google the internet and you will find this is the most recommended material to read. But according to me, this is not enough. Right? You need the help of all these books. As a biotechnology student, you will find it very hard to read because it is written in a legal language. There are no flowcharts, there are no diagrams, there are no examples. But yes, you should keep it as a reference because when you will read it for the detailed interpretation, there might be written reference to section number this. Right? So now the point is how you start preparing. You read through these books one by one. My first recommendation is you read paper one book first, this is the basic concept and then you build upon the concept, right? So that it, you have to prepare for the examination in layers because there are a lot of things to read. If you jump to the last step, you will get confused, right? So you have to prepare in small, small steps and build upon that. Right. So, if you are serious about qualifying the examination in your first attempt, this is the right study material. I would recommend. I have spent my 10 years of time in developing this material. So, you can call us or you can order us on the link given below and we will be very ha happy to help you and send you the study material. Thank you.